It's Friday morning. Rob wants some paint brushes, so I've got 8,000 from Costco last night. When I got back from Costco last night, something was in the yard, and here it is. Anyway, when I got back, Gemma Warren Hello. from the YouTube channel, Gemma Warren, <laughs> who's got a big bulk truck, which we'll go and have a look in a minute, is here. So we're just showing around the tractors in the shed. So check out her YouTube channel. Right, while Gemma's here, let's have a look at her scan, yeah. So apparently, that's someone off Pirates of the Caribbean. Bootstrap Bill, and that's someone else off it as well. Will Turner. Will Turner, but I've never seen Pirates of the Caribbean, so I don't know. Anyway, let's have a quick look inside. What C stand for? Oh, because all the all the tracks are C themed on the back. Ah. So it's like pirates or. Oh, I see. Some sort of C theme. Oh yeah. Dazzle me, lens. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so that's, yeah, Pirate of the Caribbean. Let's have a little look inside the truck. Might have to move the seat You've got little legs. Hey, <laughs> tell me to drive safe, I'm not even yeah, sat in it. She's really nice. Is that the Scania woman talking? Yeah, she's ever so nice. Very red in here. Yeah, well, because of... Outside is red and white. I thought I'd go for red inside as well. I made the helmet myself, made the curtains myself. <laughs> looks like a massive bra. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? A lot of people said it looks like underwear. I didn't mean it to look like that, but it just does. It, are they all like this, or does some have a bit higher cab as well? Yeah, so this. Oh, I just lost my boot. <laughs> this is a lower cab because I do a lot of the feed blowing work. Oh, so for the trees. Get the bins in the because a lot of feed mills are quite old so they've got quite low bins yeah and this one well there's a place in Bury St Ed Edmunds that this one will only just go under all oh, right so yeah so they're, are they like your overhead lockers in a plane yeah so so you have to watch that nothing's shifted while you've landed it's very messy so oh yes yeah, of course your food I never thought about that yeah I just thought it'd have like pajamas and stuff in my hair straighteners in here that I actually never ever use. I don't think I've ever used them. Oh, apart from when I went abroad and I um, got my travel card. So have you got a telly? No, I've not got a telly. I don't have time to watch it. You just use your phone and watch yeah, YouTube. Oh, and here I've got a fridge. And I've got a cupboard in there, which I... Uses the bin. I'm really sad. I take all my recycling home. I put it in my recycling bin. Because there's no like places to recycle stuff. And then I've got... Has it got Apple oh CarPlay? Has it got what? Apple CarPlay. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that, because when I texted you before, you obviously read the message, but it didn't say you had, and that's because Apple CarPlay doesn't tell you, does it? No. Is that your cowboy this. hat? Yeah, I got that one in America. I went over to America to um, meet a lady trucker, and I went out for the week with her. Oh, it was amazing. She took me everywhere. We did a rodeo. We did um, like Brockton Fair. Have you put that on Chevy YouTube? Ad. No, this was about five years, four or five years ago now. You yeah. know the best Simpsons ever episode ever is when he drives the truck. Oh, is it? It's called Maximum Home Drive. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, oh, is that okay. your tray table? Yeah. Make sure this that's is stowed. The first truck I've ever had it in. I had an um, uh, R490 before this one, and it didn't have anything like that. I just used to have to sort of hold my dinner and eat at the same time but yeah i really like that feature it's cool isn't it when you take your shoes off so that you don't end up with soil on your bedroom floor yeah because basically this is my bedroom my kitchen my workplace living room it's everything so i do need to keep it clean in here really i don't know what else Oh, night heater. I've got night heater. Oh, yeah, I've got my microwave there. Ah. No way. Frank's just sorting out the ground level here now. So he's taking the topsoil out. We're going to put it to the same level as the grass verge. And then we're going to curve that bit round then. And then fill this in. And then we've got the start of the bell mouth, which is basically where the wagons can sweep in without having to turn too sharply. See and Jay there coming down the road. Just wondering what was going on because this wagon turned up 
with all this on and we realised that Nick's telehammer had been away. So I have a fault fix on it and they're just dropping it back off now. A couple of masses on as well. They're at dead to clarity, 7718. Twenty-two, one seventy. Andrew's just going to go and remove some compaction out of the sunflower field. The sumo and the Zerion, he's just going to put a bit of fuel in it first. I'm just about to do a Zoom meeting for the Iranian BBC about farming in the UK compared to farming out there. But I don't know anything about the farming out there, but we'll see what the lady's going to say anyway. Andrew's been coming through this with the sumo, but where we can you see where we've spread some muck on it? Well, we we kind of flattened it down before it was mowed, so it's tangling a bit around the sumo. So it's pulling it into piles. Look, it's hard to see on the camera actually, but it's a big ball of ball of this like tangly weed. It would have probably been all right had we have mown it before we spread them up. Anyway, he's going to just try it now on a bit where we we didn't spread them up and see if that makes any difference. Gathering up the odd little bit. Maybe we should have run that mower a bit shallower, perhaps. He's doing it here, though. Where the muck's been spread I'm actually just whizzing over it quick with the front flail because the front flail's still on the tractor whereas the, uh, the what was it, the major mower wasn't so I'll just zoom up and down where this little section looks an absolute beast that Zerion when it's coming towards you this is all done now just ready for concrete in, and then that just wants tidying up with the clippers so it's a bit bit easier obviously when the final layers on you'll be a little bit higher but you can now see cars coming from well away and then obviously when you get close to the road you can then see in the other direction a lot further as well there's Andrew coming back in now Right, I'm just looking for a tube here, I've just found one because I've got that new camera to mount on the gateway, but I just want to mount it temporary. So I'm going to try and push that tube in the ground with the Merlot, put it on that. And then once we've finished all the gateway and everything, then we can decide where we want to put it for the best. Right, let's have a look what's in the box. We've got a need to fasten it to the pole. Camera mount fitting. That's handy, they'll clamp on that pole. Time is up. Right, instructions. Right, so SIM card, camera, and I presume the solar panels in that big box. So we'll get it fastened up. How cute today, little tiny roll bolts. Oh, biscuits. Oh, biscuits. Right. right, so scan that. Then that tells you to unscrew that, put the memory card in there and the SIM card in there. So now, pull that cover back on, I think it's good to go. We got that fat tube out, but this thin one's gonna be better, we've just found, because this will fit the solar panel perfect. So we're just putting the solar panel together. See the size of the inverter? I could charge my car off that, it's massive. So. Yeah, we'll fasten this up now with the bolts and screw it to the pole. No, we'll put the pole up first, I think. Right, the sun comes up over there and sets over there. So we, we're thinking of putting the camera there, but then it'll be in the sun. So we're going to put it that side so it doesn't look into the sun. But the solar panel could be at the back and charge up and then it'll watch the gateway then. 
just temporary so Andrew's just gonna drive that into that bund and then I'll oh, push it down now and then we'll sit the camera on the top of it for now Come on down. It's going. I'll do. Be solid that. We hope. Have a look. Yeah, that'll do. Right, we're all ready to put it up now. I didn't top up the sim card that come with it and activate sorry activate the sim card that come with it so i've activated it and topped it up so it doesn't run out so i couldn't get it to work at first and it was annoying me anyway i've got it working now we're gonna fasten it up and then see how we get on with it anyway because there's the gateway if anyone wants any to check the livestock or whatever i'll put a link below because i think they're offering a bit of a discount to anyone that watches the videos so if you look below this video, you'll see a thing they're called Farm Stream, or they've got a website, and um, check them out if you want. If you get one though, remember to activate the SIM card or it won't work. Right, I'm just getting this solar panel mounted now. It's massive. Um, I don't know whether that's a battery or an inverter or both. I don't know, but it's quite heavy, that lump. These bolts may look like 17s, but they're not the 16s, so Andrew's just run off to go and get another spanner. That OSR's looking well again now, isn't it? It's alive. The only thing is, it's a bit of a blind spot here, when you look that way in the yard, because of the solar panel. Because I don't want to mount it any lower, because Andrew could reach it. Not that Andrew's a criminal, but if he could, other people could. We should have a slightly longer pole, really. But it's just temporary till we decide where we want to put it. There we go. Let's see what it, how it works in that position, then we'll decide where it, whether that's the best position or we want to put it somewhere else. Bucket's uh, getting welded up now. Some work. This bucket, I'd love to know how many tons it's moved over the years. It's actually got a bit of a crack there now. It's probably wearing out. It's birthday bumper time. Daniel Parker, 17. Josh Burke, aka Roy, is 30. Lisa Franklin, it's her birthday tomorrow, but um, it's on the list for today. So happy birthday. Charles McDonald is 67. Ed Jones is the big 4 0. Richard Blackburn is 55. Not sure if the Richard Blackburn I know from Cheshire, but happy birthday anyway. And Clive Bailey is 50 today. I spelt it wrong. I, everyone knows Clive off the farming forum. Did I do Michelle Campbell at 40? Anyway, Michelle Campbell's 40. So happy birthday, everyone on there. 27,407 pound, absolutely amazing. If it's your birthday today and you're not on there, happy birthday anyway. This was delivered the other day. Anyway, it's a quiz question for you. What is that for? I think you know, let me know in the comments. It's high vis, Liz. Turn around. Hey. I don't know why, but it's just reminded me, see Liz, the um, quiz question of the day with the new, was the rare New Holland. It was the 185, because they never built one. Apparently there was only three pre-production models, and one of them's at Reese College. I kept forgetting to tell people the answer to the quiz question. That is it. That's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a like. It really helps. And if you're not subscribed, you can click subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Also, check out... Gemma's channel if you want I'll put a link below to her video so she does trucking videos because that's what she does she drives a bulk at grain bulk at tipping grain out and things and dropping stuff here and there and everywhere anyway thanks for watching I'll see you tomorrow